2008, the gold medal was thought was 19.5 feet. The level of competition has changed, and we have to help our kids rise to that competition. The world's a different place. We can't keep doing what we've been doing. So we adapted the Common Core in 2010, like I said. We have 43 states, and we will be assessing the students using this new core in the spring of 2015. The Common Core goes deeper instead of wider, and um, science and social studies are folded into reading and math. There's a lot more assessment of thinking and critical thinking and problem solving skills. And that is it. Do we have to wait till 2015 or the state? They're working on the test right now. They have to create the test. And they're giving is they're giving districts time. Standardized test out there. Never understood Michigan and me. <laughs> you know, it seems silly to me. You know, the federal government and the state government all sit up there and tell us you have to attain these standards. Right. But they don't give us their set of tools with which to attain those standards. Right. And then further making things worse in the past, the state of Michigan has set the leap up so that it's processed on a bell curve, guaranteeing that one third of all districts that the kids take it are going to fail. Yeah. Is the, the, the national test, is that at least going to have well, a predefined pass fail line that doesn't move based on the rest of the kids around you? I'm not familiar with how the national test is set up yet. They're still working on it from what I know. Um, does anyone else have any, any principles have any more information? There's not a lot of information out there right now. I don't Really not. It's, it's kind of a moving target still. They've at least got to give a line and call this pass fail, period, regardless of how the rest of the kids do around it. Right. Yes. I have a question. Sure. Because I've been attending a lot of conferences and stuff about um, these type of scores. Mm -hmm. I guess my question is, is it's always a point that's pretty simple is why is it that um, Michigan or say our district performs so low and not, you know, we don't, and the Michigan don't perform like either other states or us like other districts. I mean, what is, doing, what is being done differently, um, say in the state of Michigan, is not being done? Um, I really, you know, my personal opinion? Well, I mean, you, you know better than me. I mean, this is the question that we my, try. This is the question we try to answer. My personal opinion is that there um, is a lot of teaching to the test, and there's not a lot of teaching about thinking because mm -hmm. the districts are under so much pressure to get those scores mm -hmm. that we've gotten away from real teaching for knowledge and learning. Bert. I'm confused. Those first two slides that we showed that mm -hmm. have the states on. Were those the cut score that every state had a different standard? Yes. And so those two graphs showed what the standards were rather than how well the right. students did. Right. So, so theoretically, the schools with the lower standard had a whole lot more kids passing. Exactly. They did. That's the problem. They and weren't really. So that addresses Mark's concern. Right. We really don't have a standardized what's good and what's bad, what's right. passing and what's not. Right. And it's right. a national. So right, what, right. What Michigan's doing is just upgrading and moving up that standard, saying you right. got too much better to pass. Right. Fifteen years ago, I heard Arkansas, as an example, had you know their test was basically fifteen questions, and the first question was what's your name. You know, and, that, you know. and that may be a I little bit <laughs> that may be a little off, but right. you know, the, the standards between the states, I agree, need to be you know. Well, that's the point of the core. That's the point of the core to be standardized. You know. Well, but great. Oh, excuse me. Just follow up the question that that you asked. Then is you can't tell from those two great those two first two slides how well Michigan kids do relative to kids in other states. No, you no. can't. You can't except on the name. Yeah. How how do Michigan kids do? We can't tell. You know, you touch. We don't have that. You touched on something a while ago, our teachers teaching <coughs> the test. Right. If the cut scores continue to go up, that's going to force the teachers to, exactly. to just hone right in instead of teaching our kids 
survival exactly. skills in the world. Right. So what we have to do as a district is think about different <coughs> Are we teaching for questions that they take one day a year, or are we teaching for them to be global citizens? Right. So that's a, something we have to reflect on ourselves. But it seems like the, the state of Michigan is not going to allow us to do that. Not right now, no. Well, that should look like governable. Well, <coughs> you lump them all in together. So. <laughs> and what's the understanding of that one score being 95 and then... 95 proficient and then you're coming down to 35. What's the understanding of that? Well, in the current third grade, um, across the state, students were really, really proficient. But when they um, put the new cut, cut scores in place and the cut scores raised, the number of proficient students dropped. So, um, like one of the slides said, 40% whether or not you know you should be in the eighth grade rather than the fourth grade, then forty percent might be proficient for the fourth grade. So it really depends on the test too. Right. You know and if it has any bias <coughs> as well. Right. For for the NAEP, is the math test actually going to be math or is it going to be all story problems so that kids that don't understand English also have problems doing their math. <laughs> That's always been something I find. You know, if you want to test Johnny on his math, ask him what four times five is. You know, don't necessarily ask him the cognitive thinking portion of the yard is four foot on one side and five foot on the other side. How many square feet are there? Well, that's one of the things the core does is it moves more towards critical thinking. So the students will be tested on more of the critical thinking using data to um, solve a problem. Actually, WorkKeys already does that. So, I mean, in some ways, the students are already tested on that, where they're given a set of data and they have to analyze it and solve a real-world problem. So. You know, my have to understand, Michigan has a certain standard. Ohio has a different standard. Illinois, yes. Yes. everybody, and there's yes. not, there's yes. not a standard. Yes. 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 No. Not until four to fifteen. I wonder how. That